Here we are. I thought I'd bring my little YouTube account out, out in an assignment. Uh, there's a sign right there. Judgment Day, May 21st, with his six days away from uh, another false pro prophet being exposed. And the Bible guarantees it. Well, the Bible doesn't guarantee it. It says, cry into the Almighty God, Jonah 3a. And then you got your little advertisement. That way, uh, Family Radio can make their money uh, and get their money back for these billboards. Um, I'm going to have the uh, camera to my wife here. And uh, here we go. Let's start off by who was jo Jonah? And he was, this was in between uh, 75, 8, 785 and 760 BC. If, if you were given an assignment to preach the gospel of band and convicted killers, would you do it? The similar assignment God gave Jonah. Jonah was a prophet born in Israel. Uh, you know, see, see 2 Kings 14 and 25. And called by God to preach to the people of Naive, the capital city of Arisa. Not only, not only was Aresia the most powerful empire in the day, it was the ruthless, violent with its conquered enemies. Israel was soon to enter Aresia path of destruction. And so it was unlikely many Israeli would have accepted Jonah and his task. The book of Jonah and relatives, how he first tried to uh, flee his calling cities and travel ship by another country. But God sent a storm to change his plans. Jonah was thrown overboard. A giant fish swallowed him and saved him from a drowning, uh, from drowning. The, the fish then spewed Jonah onto the shore and Jonah went to Azrezia. Jonah dismay the kings in, in the cities of Nehever heard his message and repented. And so God spared them from their promise and uh, destruction and anger. Jonah went outside the city, still hoping it would be destroyed by by God and removed by jo Jonah. However, expressed their desire to all, God expressed his desire to all the people, Jews and Gentiles alike, to come and know him. Now, after this verse, this is my daughter here. Uh, we're, in a, as you can see, on our way to eat. Um, you know, if you go to verse 10, when God saw what they have done and how they have put a stop to their evil ways, he changed his mind and did not carry out destruction he had threatened. He was threatened to destroy the city. And uh, nothing in here, nothing in here is about destroying the world. So the false prophet, false teacher, again, Harold Camping exposed there. Um... Just remember Matthew 24, for the day of the hour no man knows, not the son, angels, not the son, but only the father. Now we must, we must remember this, we are five days away from uh, this being exposed as a false prop, false teacher. It does nothing but spread, spread lies towards Christianity and it's the work of Satan. Uh, as I said... After May 21st and May 22nd comes around, you wake up here oh, to all the Harold Camping followers. You still can repent, go to cry unto the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, and go to church. Go to church. May 21st is going to come and pass because many prophecies still need to be, yet be fulfilled. The Bible guarantees that. Thank you, and God bless.